Hi, good afternoon. I'm so sorry, guys, I got disconnected, but I'm back, all right? I had to restart my computer. I had to do a lot of things. It was not the internet connection. It was the Zoom application. Something happened. I'm so sorry, and I apologize. So we are going to continue, guys. Hola, uh, hi, Tim. I mean, thank Hello. you. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, people, so now we are starting the class or restarting the class, right? Uh, by recalling the last topic. The last topic was about family members. Family members. Ages, mm -hmm. and we were describing uh, or explaining who is in a picture, for example, with the question, who's that? Remember the question, who's that? Okay, please uh, take care. I mean, watch out with the background. Por favor, estemos ahí uh, pendientes del audio porque se hace interferencia. Muy bien, entonces estábamos hablando de who's that, ¿verdad? Who's that significaba, ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué significaba who's that? ¿Y cuándo lo usamos? When do we use that? Para preguntar quién es ella. Exactly. Who is in the picture, right? Also, who is that person that it is over there, right? So also we use that question. Who's that? Para decir, ese quien ebo. O sea, eso significa, right? Um, so let's continue uh, from there. And we have a short a short um, exercise, we could say in the worksheet. This is a worksheet that was prepared by a teacher. It was not prepared by myself. So, but it is really nice. It is very good. So we are going to use it. Allow me to share this. All right, here we are. We have the family members in this picture. You see, we have Martin, Joan, Anna, Bob, Susan, Peter, Mary, Maggie, and Tim, right? So let's start by describing uh, who is who, all right? so. Susan is Maggie's. All right, let's look at who's Susan. This is Susan, and this is Maggie. Oh, mother. All right, uh -huh. mother. mother. All right, or mom is okay. You can use either. Uh, you can use mom, you can use mother. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. Number two. Number two is Martin is Tim's grandfather. All right, Peter, this is Peter, is Mary's, Mary's uncle. uncle. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Tim is Anna's yes. nephew. All no. right. Let's yes. look at this. Tim, yes, of course. Because, Evelyn. yes, this is his uncle and this is his aunt, right? So Tim is, oh, yeah, nephew. Nephew. There you are. 
You're really clever, guys. You're really clever. Uh, Joan is Maggie's. This is Joan and this is Maggie. Hmm? Grandmother. Grandmother. All right. <laughs> Number six. Vaya, pero ahora me lo van a leer completo. El que va a decir la respuesta me lo lee desde Maggie is Tim's y me dice qué es. Tim's brother. Maggie is Tim's siblings. Brother. Uh, brother. I mean, no, 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 no. no Maggie no, no. is Tim's sister. Uh, yes. Tim is Maggie's brother. All right. So Maggie is Tim's sister. Yes. Because we are talking about Maggie here. All right, number seven. Bob, Bob, yes, we missed that word yesterday. All right, husband, husband, there you are, husband, esposo. All right, now. Esposa is wife, wife, all right? And if we refer to both, we said a married couple, all right? So number eight, number eight. Mm -hmm. Mary, 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 Mary is cousin. Yes, excellent. Number nine. Mary, and... Okay, yes. uh -huh. this is Mary yes. and this yes. is Peter. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, Jonathan said, I think, right? Knees. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, number 10. Peter, Peter is father. Is Tim's father. Yeah. Susan is Martin's mother. Susan is here. Susan is Martin. And Martin is ah, all right. Mm -hmm. Daughter. Daughter. Number twelve. Tom, 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 Tim, and Susan, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What about number 13? 13. Wife. Wife. Okay, read it completely. Wife. Anna is Anna is both of wife. wife. Yes. And 14? Anna is both wife. Anna is both wife. Anna and Bob are Mary's Anna parents. And Bob are Mary's parents. Yes. Parents. Yesterday we say father and mother, right? But together they mother. are parents. All right? Parents. Parents. Cuando nos referimos a los dos, es parents. Okay? Parents incluye a mamá y a papá. Okay. So here we are, guys. Here we are. All right. Is there any other uh, sentence we can make from here? Alguna otra que se les ocurra? ¿Quién nos falta? Martin and Joan. Martin and Joan. Oh, all right. Martin is Joan's husband. All yeah, right. Like, yeah, very uh, good. Mm -hmm. Any other? Mm -hmm. Any other? Maybe. Uh, uh, Daniel. John is Peter's mother-in-law. 
All right. Uh, did you say brother-in-law? Mother-in-law. Ah, all right. Es que en el chat me preguntaron que cómo se dice cuñado. Cuñado se dice um, brother-in-law. Todos oh, los agregados, okay. todos los agregados que nosotros le decimos político o, o hermano político o to, todos estos estados políticos serían in law. Entonces, eh, sí, brother in law, cuñado. Ok, el sister in law, cuñada. Ok, Daniela. Mother in law, como dijo Daniela, es eh, suegra. Ok, and father in law. Ajá, suegro. Ok, ¿cómo te vas a quedar sentarte? Come. All right. Let's continue with this. Let's continue with this. I will I will delete this. Okay. And let's continue with the topic for today. Okay. The topic for today is WH questions with B, okay? WH questions with the verb to be. So we want to, no, this is not, this is not, I'm so sorry, this is not. Ah, es que reinicié la máquina, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot, I forgot that I restarted this, so I have to reopen it. Okay, let's go to your student's book. Let's go to your student's book on the platform. Por ahí tenemos a alguien que tiene un, son un sonido bien fuerte que nos interfiere. Tengamos el cuidado de ponernos en mute si a nuestro alrededor hay mucho ruido. Por favor. Ok. Y solo abramos para participar, ¿verdad? Y luego lo vuelve a cerrar. Ok. So, we were saying that we need to learn how to formulate WH word. I mean, questions, right? WH questions. It means we were uh, uh, practicing where are you from, remember? That's with where. Where is a WH word? It's a question word, all right? So uh, there are other question words, remember? Hay otras palabras que son de pregunta. A ver, ¿quién las recuerda? When, what, why, Uh -huh, uh -huh. Why, when, where, uh -huh, uh -huh. Which, which, which kind of, uh -huh, uh -huh. how, uh -huh. what kind of. All oh, right, uh huh. And we are using also what, right? In that one, we are using what. Uh -huh. Yeah, I restarted this thing and I have this situation. I'm sorry, just give me one second. I'm almost there, I'm almost there.
Okay, here we are. And this is the grammar focus we wanna see. We have some questions that are really important and they are very basic. And they are formulated with WH word. So let's look at this ones, all right? You were, you were saying what, who, where, when. Ahorita vamos a ver estas que ya más o menos conocemos. Las vamos a hacer un solo, ¿verdad? So I'm going to say, what's your name? What's your name? Uh -huh. What's and your name? Yes. Okay, repeat after me, please. What's your name? What's, What's your name? name? What's your name? What's Where your name? are you from? Where, Where are, are, you are, are, you are you from? How are you today? How are you? How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Uh -huh. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? How old is he? How old is he? How old, is he? How old are you? Right? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? What's he like? What's he like? What's he like? Y veamos cómo se responde esta pregunta. He is very nice. He is very nice. He is very nice. Okay. What's he like? What's he like? What's he like? All right. What's he like? Mm -hmm. Ahora tenemos, who are they? 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 Okay, like, who are they is plus, the plural, the plural most accepted to ask who's that, right? For singular, for plural, we say who are they? We could say who are those if they are far away, right? Who are those, all right? Also, we can ask who are they? Who are they, all right? Now, where are they from? Where are they from? Where are they from, right? Where are they from? What's real like? What's real like? What's real like? Rio is from Brazil, right? It's a city in Brazil. So we could ask, what's um okay, Rio what's a Salvador? Yeah. What's a Salvador like? What's a Salvador like? What's a Salvador like? Yeah. What's a Salvador like? What's in Salvador like? What's a 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 what's what's a 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 Asking this question to obtain a description, right? To obtain a description. So today we want to practice this short question. What she like? What she like? Uh, what's he like? What are you like? What are they like? All right. So I will stop sharing. And we are going to see the adjectives, all right? The adjectives. Oh my God, Edwin, <laughs> are you sleepy? <laughs> I'm so sorry, coach. No problem. I don't right. sleep. Okay. Aren't you sleepy? Ah, oh, but aren't you bored? Yeah. All right. Let, let, let's look at this one, all right? And you're going to tell me, okay, with the adjectives you already know, okay? 
adjectives are uh, words to qualify the noun or qualify a person, right? They are characteristics, characteristics to describe people, to describe animals, to describe places. So adjectives, right? Now, let me show you these photographs and you answer both questions for each picture, all right? Hmm. What is that? <laughs> what is he like? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Ahorita con los que ustedes, las características que ustedes ya sepan y se les vengan a la mente, ok? Después vamos a ver algunas, ok? Vamos a, a, a armar vocabulario. Pero ahorita, así, a, a, nos vamos a tirar al agua, ¿verdad? We are right jumping into the pool, right? No lifesavers, no lifesavers. All right, so the first picture. Who's that? He is Donald Trump. He is? He is, he is, Donald, he is Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. All right. <laughs> what is his occupation? He's a president. president. Politician. He's a politician. Okay. He He's is a politician. President. Uh, he, uh, in the past, in the past, uh -huh. yes. yes. But now he is a former it's president. He former is president. a former president in the present, he right? Is for a former um, president. I will write down president. that, all right? I will write down this, okay? He is Donald Trump. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, he is a former president from the U.S., right? From the U.S. Mm -hmm. Former. Yes, former. O sea, ex-presidente, right? Former. Él es un ex-presidente de los Estados Unidos. Yes, he is a former president from the U.S. Mm -hmm. U.S. Yes. yes. All right. Now, um, what's he like? What's he like? A ver, ¿cómo me lo pueden describir ustedes de cómo es él? He's old. He's old. All right. He's old. Uh -huh, He's happy. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Con esa, uh, fíjense que yo estoy teniendo problemas porque grito mucho. Siento que no me están oyendo, aunque debiera ser, pero solo abran el, el micrófono para participar y luego lo cierran, por favor. Ok. Bien. Para que no molestemos también a sus compañeros. Hay algunos que están con audífono y es bastante molesto, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Entonces, tenemos. Uh, me decía, he's old. Yeah, he is old. Pero fíjense que hay muchos que se ofenden, ¿verdad? Aunque realmente, pues, ya entrado en años, todos vamos a ser viejos, ¿verdad? Pero podríamos decir, he is an aged, aged person, all right? Mm -hmm. An yeah. aged person person, aged. Este sería el adjetivo, ¿ok? Para decir old, ¿ok? También le podríamos decir he is a senior, right? Senior. Pero como él no está retired, I mean, he's not retired, no se ha retirado, no se ha pensionado, ¿verdad? O por lo menos no sabemos. Entonces, tal vez por eso senior no le va muy bien. Ok, aunque realmente por la edad lo es, ok. But we could say he is an aged person, ok. Aged person. Vamos a ver todos. He is an aged person. He is an he aged, is aged person. 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 Yes, ya está entradito en años, ¿verdad? All right. Mm -hmm. And ¿qué más podemos decir de él? What else can we say he about is him? an short person. He is an short person. Oh, a short. 
Ok, entonces ahí, ahí podemos decir he is short, alright? He is short. He is short. Uh -huh. He is short, es bajito, right? Okay. He is short. Is he short? Mm, I don't I, think, I think yes. Do you, do you but... think that? All right. All right. In the average, in the average height, you could say, well, mm, there are taller people than him. Taller right? people. All right. All right. He's shorter than the average. All right. All right. We could say that. Oh, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forget <laughs> that. I forget what I was going to say, but yeah, he's short. He's short. Podríamos he's decir he's little short, all right? He is a little short. Ahí sí ponemos a, ¿ok? Porque estoy diciendo como una cantidad, ¿verdad? A little, un cuantificador. A little es completo. A little. A little. Un poco pequeño. Ajá. Un poco pequeño. Para nosotros suena redundante, ¿verdad? Podríamos decir pequeñito, yes. pequeño, ¿verdad? Porque es little mm -hmm. es pequeño para nosotros, ¿ok? En short es también cortito ¿verdad? o bajito. Entonces, pero eh, es la, la, la forma de decirlo. Solo déjenme llegar ahí porque ya vi que no podía entrar ahí. Ahora sí, he is a little short. Ok, we're going to accept that. Now, there are characteristics from our appearance and they are physical characteristics, all right? They are physical characteristics. But there are others that are personality traits, personality characteristics. So we have to make the difference here, all right? Maybe the appearance and the personality um, can describe better a person when we do it all together, all right? when we do it all together. But let's think about how to describe a person with the, the more mm, known characteristics of that person, all right? Remember, there are negative characteristics and there are positive characteristics, all right? We have to be careful because maybe people can get offended, all right? Tenemos que tener mucho cuidado cuando describimos a alguien porque las personas se pueden ofender, ¿verdad? Mm, por ejemplo, pues si decirle a alguien como nosotros en español, ¿verdad? Enanito o enano, uh, es, está feo, ¿verdad? Le decimos bajito, le decimos que no está alto, ¿ok? So, también hay una palabra para decir así en, en, en inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay que tener cuidado. Shorty or dwarf, menos, all right? Vamos a decir a little short, right? Not short. or not very tall. Not very tall, all right? Not very tall. Hmm? Bueno, vamos a ver entonces with the second picture. Who's that? George Clooney. No, he's not George, George Clooney. Yeah, no. he's. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know, coach. <laughs> okay, the, yeah, because you are really young. You are really young. Really? I think he's not making any movies, right? Anymore. Bruce uh -huh. Willis. Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willis. Okay, who's that? He is Bruce, Bruce Willis. Okay, mm -hmm. he is Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. Willis, all right. And what about, uh, no recuerdo si es con Y, el de él. ¿Alguien recuerda? All right, he's Bruce Willis. And um, let's say he is an actor. He's an actor. Mm -hmm. he's an actor. What's he like? I will say he is very handsome. Yeah, yeah, for me he is. <laughs> at least in the past, at least in the past, right? But yeah, he is very handsome. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> what else? 
He's an actor, right? Yes, he's an actor. Yeah, he is he an is actor. An incredible actor. Yes, an he, incredible actor. He, yes. Mm -hmm. He is a uh, big surf funny. He is a uh? um, big surf funny. A funny, funny person. person. A like funny this? person. Yes, a funny person. All right. He is a funny person. Excellent. Uh -huh. He got blue eyes. Right. He got uh, green eyes. All right. Eso lo podemos decir. He has in American English. All right. In British English, we say he's got. But American is he has. All right. He has. Ajá. Ya ahí ya no usamos el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Ya eso es más avanzado lo que nos está diciendo Daniela. Entonces sería he has. Okay. Él tiene. He has. Ah, has. De tener. Yes. Blue eyes. Ya no es how, no que es has. Yes, porque es has he. Been. Es que es he. Ajá, la tercera persona del verbo have es has, ¿ok? Es siempre el mismo verbo have, pero conjugado en tercera persona es has, ¿ok? Por eso les digo que ese es un poquitín más avanzado. Ahorita estamos todavía con el verbo to be, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. Bien, ahora ya sabemos cómo describir un poquito a una persona. Now, what about they? Who are they? They are politicians. They are politicians. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. But who's this? Who's this? He is an He is a president. All right. Él no es former, no, 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 no. ¿verdad? Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly. Vamos a ver. I will erase this. I deleted. All right. The first one was. Uh, Mr. Right, who's that? Or uh, the one in my left, right? The one in my left. All right, so it is, mm -hmm. let's say, right? Now, let's describe him. He is the president from El Salvador, right? Or El Salvador. Mm -hmm. What's he like? What's he like? He is tall. He is tall. Mm -hmm. He is an incredible president. All right. Good. That's for you, right? All right. All right. Now, let's say he is mm, an incredible president. All right. Now, uh, in his appearance, what do you see? Uh huh. His hair is black. thin. Okay. Yes, excellent. Someone said something. Uh, you said two things. He is thin, right? And the other one was his <laughs> hair is black. Excellent, excellent. Aunque hay otra pregunta. Hay otra pregunta más para, pregun para eh, pedir que le expliquen a uno o le digan las características de una persona de cómo se mira físicamente, ¿verdad? Ahí es donde estábamos el have y todo eso, y acerca del pelo y todo eso, del color de los ojos. Pero ahorita estamos en general, ¿ok? En general, si a usted le preguntan, what's he like? De todas las características de la persona, ¿all right? It's valid. All right. His hair is black and the last, the last one. Mm -hmm. He's smart. He is smart. Very good, very good. Now let's continue with the one in the right. This one. He is Sanchez Eren. All right, he is uh, Salvador, right? Sanchez. Uh, I'm sorry. Hasta la computadora se me puso diferente otra vez. A ver. A ver. There we are. Aha. Uh, gosh, what's going on? There you are. Hmm? Yes, like this, right? 
And he is a former president from El Salvador. All right. Mm -hmm. What's he like? He's very funny. He is, funny. He is very <laughs> funny. All right. Uh huh. Is he tall or is he short? Sure. 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 Very short? No, he's short. Yeah, you're very short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh huh. Okay, okay. So, well, this is the way to describe people, right? This is the way to. Uh huh. He's chubby. Oh, very good. Uh huh. He's chubby. Uh -huh. Chubby, but chubby is an uh, in an is still in an attractive shape. All right, uh, chubby is gordito pero bonito. Okay, <laughs> 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 o sea, no es tampoco eh, eh, muy muy gordo. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, relleno, digamos. All right, there you are. Okay, now we are going to continue. Okay, with the other activity for today. And let's listen to this. Yes. <laughs> let's listen to this. Let's listen to this. All right. Here we are. <laughs> it says, listen to three descriptions. Check the two correct words for each description. Ok, vamos a escuchar la descripción de estas tres personas y tenemos que poner un chequecito en las características que se mencionan de ellas. Ok, vamos a ver entonces, tenemos para Nora, hay varias, tall, pretty, quiet, talkative. Vamos a escuchar cuál de esas mencionan o cómo realmente I think everybody got disconnected. Hello? Oh God, today, the session was cursed, right? Uh, se siente como que esta, esta, estaba como embrujada esta, esta sesión, ¿verdad? Primero desaparece la teacher, después aparece la teacher, después desaparecen todos los estudiantes y se queda sola la teacher y después todos aparecen. Ya ven, ya ven, ya estamos preparándonos, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok, um, ¿Les importaría si tomamos un poquito más por los minutos perdidos? ¿O hay alguien que tenga alguna situación para no continuar esos minutitos? No problem. No problem. It's okay, teacher. Okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for your patience. All right. Now, let's think about the three people we have in this activity. Okay? Got it? This is happening when we go to another screen, right? Or something. Uh huh. There is when this is happening, I think. All right. Mm -hmm. So let me get this straight here. I will try to do this. Pay attention, guys.
Who's that? She's my sister. How old? Uh, those were the WH words. Uh, just give me one second. I will stop sharing. I will stop sharing and I'll go by a different way. All right. Just give me one second. Ok, there we go, there we go, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, pero es porque se han apagado las máquinas, vamos a ver, ahora sí. And here it is. Listening. Wow, who's that? Listen to three descriptions. Check the two correct words for each description. One. Wow. Who's that? Who? The tall guy? No, the very good-looking girl over there. Oh, that's Nora. Is she talkative? No, she isn't. She's really quiet. But she's very nice. Two. My new classmate's name is Taylor. Oh, cool. What's Taylor like? Oh, very funny. Nice. And is she good looking? Yes, he is. He? Is Taylor a guy? Yes, he is. Sorry. Three. Who's that short guy over there? That's my brother, Austin. He's very talkative. Yes, he really is. Is he serious? Austin? Oh, no. But he's really funny. Okay. So, what about Nora? Nora is? Yes. Nora is quiet. 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 All right. Nora is quiet. And uh -huh. Nora is quiet. And they said something else. Good looking. Good looking for women means pretty. Okay? Means pretty. Okay? So they said good looking. Good looking for women is pretty. Now, good looking for men is handsome. All right? Handsome. Mm -hmm. And you can refer both by good looking. All right? You can refer both. By good looking. All right, Taylor okay. is funny, 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 funny. All right. mm -hmm. and serious, handsome, handsome. Yeah, handsome, handsome, handsome. There you are. What about Austin? Austin, Austin is, is short, 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 talkative, talkative, short. All right, very good, excellent. Excellent. Is there any questions so far? ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta este momento? No. No. 
Okay, so we are going to continue here because, um, okay, a ver, ahorita vamos a practicar un poquito las WH questions, okay? Vamos a ver, Merin Daniela le va a hacer una, va a escoger a un compañero, you are going to choose a classmate and you are going to ask a question, all right? And then this classmate is going to choose another classmate and ask another different question using the WH words, remember? Teníamos um, las que vimos en el principio desde el libro, okay? De esas. A ver, todas, todos ubiquémonos en el libro. Y esas son las que vamos a practicar. All right. Now, okay, don't you have the book? All right, then I will try to get it. Está en la plataforma, lo pueden descargar en PDF. Yo okay. lo tengo en PDF. Excelente, sí, está bien. Ajá. Lo, lo que um, dice Daniel es correcto, está en la plataforma. Yo pensé que no podían accesar ahorita a la plataforma porque estaban con varias ventanas abiertas, ¿ok? Pero si pueden hacerlo de una vez hay que entrar ahí, ¿ok? Eh, Merin, eh, Daniela, ¿puede usted hacer un, un, enviar la foto de ese pedacito en el WhatsApp para que lo puedan tener todos ahí? Ahorita. Si me pudiera hacer el favor. Ok, entonces comencemos con la primera pregunta, Eve, eh, Isauria, Isaura, vamos a ver. Isaura escoja un compañero y le hace una pregunta con WH. ¿Mm? I'm sorry. What number page? Uh, the page is number, let me check. Well, it says, I'm sorry? The libro is 20 page. 20, yes, page number 20, page number 20. Uh -huh. Okay, then you may start, Isaura. Teacher, se le escucha cortado o no sé si no, por ahí hay una interferencia también ok, vamos a ver entonces Isaura Se nos quedó frozen. Ok. Se nos fue. Yeah. Ah, there you are. Y ahí vamos a cantar aquí. Y se marchó. No, 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 no. <ríe> es que se nos fue. Y se nos fue otra vez. A ver, vamos a ver. Ajá. Yo le puedo ayudar a ella si quiere. Thank you, Abigail. You may start. Thank you. Con, con Isaura, ¿está bien? Yes, please. Ok. What's your name? Excellent. Ajá, Isaura. Hi, my name is Isaura. Nice to meet you, Isaura. Eh, Where is it from? Oh, ok. I... Ok. Seguimos. La idea, Eunice, es que usted hace una pregunta y su compañera escoge otro compañero para hacer otra pregunta, ok? Sí. All right. Thank you, uh, Eunice. Okay, Continue, Isaura. One question. How old are you, Mary? I'm 23 years old. She's a classmate, Mary. Um, um, Geraldina, uh, where are you from? <laughs> right, I'm from San Salvador. I have to ask. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Norma. Okay. What do you like to do in the morning? Um Oh, 
other question, Miss. I'm sorry, I, I was having some trouble here in my computer and I was paying attention attention yeah. both. Okay, you say, no. what are you doing in the morning? Is that what you said? Yes. Can you repeat it? Uh, the question was, uh, what do you like to do in the morning? Ah, it's a very complex um, it's a, a question. And that's what? not with verb to be. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. Esa pregunta significa qué le gusta hacer en las mañanas, ¿ok? Es una estructura muy diferente, ¿ok? Es una estructura un poquito mm -hmm. diferente, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Pero la respuesta, a ver, ¿usted conoce la respuesta, Geraldina? Sería... Um, what is your... What is your... No, what is your middle name? Oh, excellent. Uh -huh. Excellent. ¿A quién le preguntó? Norma. Uh, all right. Norma. What is your middle name? Your middle yeah. name. Uh -huh. Yes. My middle name is Elizabeth. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. La, la respuesta para la pregunta que estaba dando Geraldina al principio es con diferentes verbos que aún no los hemos aprendido pero ya los conocemos un poquito, por ejemplo I eat breakfast I take a shower All right? that's what we do say okay. to answer that question All right? bien continuamos entonces a Norma, una última pregunta a ver, ¿a quién escoge? Uh, Carlos Castro Carlos Okay, Carlos, are you ready? How are you today? I am just fine. Excellent, excellent. Now, let's think about this question. Yo le voy a preguntar a Denise. Denise, how is, I'm sorry, what is Daniela like? What is Daniela like? What is she like? Um, she like dancing. Uh, okay, eso sería, eh, la respuesta que usted me está dando son los gustos. Ahí hay que hacer una diferencia. A ver, le voy a poner en el chat la pregunta. What she like? Okay, no nos metamos a gramática ahorita, solo sepamos que es mejor conocer la frase completa. La frase completa es what she like para preguntar cómo es ella, ¿ok? Cómo oh, es okay. ella, uh -huh, para que me la describa. Usted está pidiendo una descripción, ¿ok? What she okay. like. Ahora, usted me estaba preguntando de qué le gusta. Esa es una pregunta muy diferente, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, vamos a ver, Denise. Let's start over. What's Daniela like? She is tall. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't seen her stand it up, but all right, let's say she's tall. Uh huh. It's very funny. All right. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um. Is she is beautiful? All right. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Denise. Thank you very much. Now, guys, we are going to see in our books, all right, in our books and the platform. Mm -hmm. And we want to see adjectives. Okay, ahora sí los vamos a ver ya ahí tal como son. No me sube perfectamente. Fíjense que estamos todavía, estamos bastante con muleta el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Pero estamos saliendo adelante. Vamos a ver. Estamos con muleta. No baja, no, no me da la otra eh, parte. Vamos a ver. Hoy sí, hoy sí tiene que bajar. Ok, vamos y ahí en el libro está, está uh, this picture, 
All right, this picture. this picture and it says he's really tall really is decir muy alto muy verdad really es como es que se ve verdad bien alto vos entonces decimos he's really tall okay he's really tall vamos a ver he's handsome sure. uh -huh. tell me uh, también se puede usar very Yes, you can use very, mm -hmm. very. But really is the other idea more than very, okay? Really is more than very, yeah? Todavía es más que muy, digamos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, this okay. guy here, this guy here, he is handsome, all right? He's handsome, all right? Ahora, si decimos que estos dos que están aquí, these two people, son bien bonitos, ¿verdad? He is handsome and she's very pretty. Both, they are good looking, all right? They are good looking. Son una pareja, pero los dos son bien guapos. O sea, it, that's the idea. They are good looking. They are good looking. She's very pretty. He's handsome. She's thin. Miren, this girl is thin, delgada, thin, All right? She is, she is a little heavy, heavy. Es un poco gordita, ¿verdad? A little heavy. Hmm? He's short. He's short, all right? He's short. Mm -hmm. Now, he's quiet. He doesn't say that much, right? He is quiet. But she's talkative. She's talkative, right? She likes to talk a lot. So she's talkative. Uh huh. Now here, she's shy. She's shy. This guy, obviously, he's a clown, right? He's funny. He's funny. And she doesn't like clowns, right? She's serious. She's serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Serious. Mm -hmm. She's serious. And this girl doesn't want, I mean, doesn't like to be with a lot of people. She's shy. She's shy. All right? She's shy. Now, de estos, ¿cuáles ustedes creen que se refiere a la apariencia y cuáles se refieren a la personalidad? Vamos a ver, hagamos esa diferencia. Personalidad. Uh -huh. Personality. Funny. Shy. Quiet. Quiet. Friendly, all right, uh -huh. because she's really friendly. I forgot that one. Thank you, Edwin. All right. What about the appearance? He's really tall. He's short. He's handsome. She's very pretty. Yes. Very pretty. Very good. Very good. So now I will stop sharing this. And, uh, permítanme, vamos a ver. Okay. Creo que por ahí vamos a estar. Ya, muy bien. Eh, entonces, les va a quedar una pequeña tarea para, el, para que ustedes se diviertan un poquito y van a des, describirse ustedes mismos. Déjenme... Eh, en me ver por acá. Compartir. No, esto eh, se quedó un poco loquito y <ríe> estamos así como, eh, sí, pero ahorita les muestro. Ajá. Entonces ustedes van a responder la pregunta, what are you like? Okay, what are you like? So you have to make a list of adjectives. 
uh, for your appearance and adjectives for your personality, all right? And you are going to write sentences, sentences, así como las que hemos estado haciendo, ¿verdad? I am talkative, I am shy, I am describing yourselves, all right? Describing okay. yourselves. Pero también van a, o sea, son dos descripciones. La primera describiéndose a usted mismo. Y la segunda va a ser describiendo a la persona que usted más quiere. Ok, o ya sea your best friend or your mom if you want, all right, or your son, your daughter, your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, right? The person you love the most, all right? So what are you like? You make a list of your appearances, adjectives. Now, what about the personality? You're going to make a list of adjectives for yourself, all right? That best describe yourself. Y vamos a hacer la misma pregunta, ¿verdad? Y ustedes van a responder esa pregunta así. What is, y van a poner la persona ahí, like, ¿ok? Y van a hacer exactamente lo mismo. She is, he is, all right? Correcto. ¿Estamos entendidos? Yes, coach. Yes, All sure. right. Is there any Esto, question so far? Esa tarea la vamos a presentar eh, ¿qué forma? El lunes. El lunes. El lunes usted ya, usted la escribe, ¿verdad? Usted la escribe. Cuando vengamos el lunes, usted va a hacer su presentación aquí de sus dos descripciones, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Así eh, una pregunta más. Tell me. Tal vez puede ser un poco extraña, pero... Eh, Lai es, so, eh, tenía entendido que es como gustar o de gusto. Sí, like es el verbo gustar, ¿ok? Pero esa palabra tiene un montón de usos en inglés. En, es, sí. en, en inglés tenemos que aprender no palabra por palabra, ni traducir la palabra por palabra porque puede tener muchos usos y muchos significados. Like Entiendo. en realidad es el verbo gustar, ¿verdad? Pero también puede significar la preposición como, ¿verdad? Como, para poder hacer comparaciones, ¿verdad? Se usa así. Pero en este caso, estamos demostrando o pidiendo que nos digan cómo es ella, ¿ok? O cómo es uh -huh. él. Entonces, yeah. like sería como la manera o la forma que esa persona es. En este caso, ¿verdad? Por eso la frase hay que aprenderla completa, Marcelo. La frase es... What she like and what he like. What are you like? Okay. Si aprendemos la frase completa, what esa frase like, es para she, preguntar she, que me describan a alguien, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. Okay. Esa es la, awesome. la pregunta para que me describan una persona, okay? Okay. There you are. Thank you. Very good. Is there any other question? Uh, it's not a question, teacher, but I just share a screenshot in the group about the adjectives that we're going to do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, please take note. There is some material shared. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, people. So thank you very much for your patience. I know we had this class very accidented, right? Muy accidentada, pero ahí vamos, ¿verdad? See you Monday and have a very good weekend. Bye-bye. Good weekend. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. See you, goodbye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye, baby. <laughs>